Hey guys, this video is going to be a review for two different types of planners from bloomdailyplanners.com and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway for the both of these. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned until the end of the video. I'll kind of talk about what the requirements are for the giveaway. Um, so the first planner I'm going to look through is the monthly planner and I'll do the teacher planner later on in the video. So one of the main reasons why I wanted to try out the monthly planner is because of the mint stripes. Like I am completely obsessed with mint. So this is definitely a really nice planner and it is monthly and it is dated for 2016. So when you open up the planner it has this like letter from the founders over here which is really nice. I did read it. I'm not going to read it to you. but. Um, this has like a, a sleeve that the cover is put in, so it's really nice, um, really great quality. And the paper is like, I'm not kidding, the paper is like cardstock, so you could probably write on this with a Sharpie pen and it, it wouldn't bleed through. But um, on the front, it just has a place where you can write in your name and your phone number. And then uh, the first page has the 2016 calendar, so you see all of the months here. And each month has like a few lines that you can write stuff down if you need to. And then the next page has a box where you can put in your goals for this year, things to look forward to, things you want to try, books places you want to go to, things you want to improve, and then things that you're grateful for. So I really like this page. It's sort of like a, oh, what do they call that? So the next page that you come to is the addresses and numbers, and you get, let's see, a, you get uh, 16 total addresses and phone numbers. And then the next page is a giant notes page and a giant to-do list, which I love this. I mean, wow. <laughs> and then you get a repeat of that. And then after that, your months start. And um, I kind of flipped through this, and at first glance, I didn't notice it, but each like goals and notes box is different every month. So it stays black and white, but the pattern changes, and I think that's really cool. So um, you get plenty of space to write. They do have like the previous month. Okay, sorry, my cats were being very bad. Anyway, so um, the, the previous month and then the next month is included in your monthly view and there's a quote up at the top and there's like uh, holidays and stuff that are marked with this little flag. So I'll just flip through here so you can see the different borders for the goals and notes each month. I like the polka dots, it's really cute. So one of the things that I thought was really neat about this monthly planner is it lays flat nicely and um, it kind of is almost like a desk calendar and I don't know what the size comparison is but it definitely, it's large, pretty large so it looks like it could definitely be a desk calendar. Okay, and then at the end, there is a page with some very faint mint colored lines, so you could jot stuff down if you need to in the back. And then one of my favorite things about this planner is this monthly spending summary. And this is like the coolest thing ever. Okay, so you get to basically keep track of everything you're spending and saving on this one piece of paper. And it has every month of the year, and then there's a box for how much income you're making um, each month, how much you're paying for like rent or house payment electricity, car payment, car insurance, home insurance, how much you're spending on food, if you go to school or tuition, um, if you buy clothing, recreational, personal, debt and loans, and then there's even a spot for other. So like every month you 
tally all that up, and then you add up your monthly expenses, and then you subtract <laughs> that um, from your income and you get your monthly savings. And then at the end of the year, I guess you can tally all that up and uh, figure out how much you spent and how much you saved. So I think that's really cool. I'm definitely the type of person to want to do this, but I probably would not just because I'm terrible at like keeping receipts and logging my payments and stuff like that. But um, anyway, overall this planner is like super nice, very great quality. The paper is nice and thick. I mean, it is cardstock, so you could easily write on this with any type of pen, I, I do believe. But um, this planner will be available for the giveaway, so if this is something you're interested in trying, stay tuned. Okay, the next planner I'm going to talk about is the Teacher Planner from Bloom Daily Planners. And I really do like this Teacher Planner. Okay, so I'm going to be comparing it with the Erin Condren Life Planner, which is this one right here, and I purchased this last summer. And um, yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna be comparing that. So if you you've kind of been thinking about purchasing the Erin Condren Teacher Planner, hold tight. Don't do it because you might want to get this one. <laughs> okay, and I will tell you why. So. This teacher planner comes with this really thick frosted plastic sheet that covers it on both the front and the back. And then it, the actual cover is almost laminated. It kind of feels like a file folder or something. I don't know. It, it's very sturdy. So the uh, coils are a little bit different than the Erin Condren. They are a little bit thinner, but you get like a double coil thing going on. And I think, honestly, it's probably just as sturdy. I mean, I even when I've used this one, I don't really like throw it around. So there's really no need for these big, giant, sturdy rings. And that's kind of one of the things I don't really like about this. It's just so big and bulky. And this is a lot more like slim down and comfortable comfortable to carry around. Okay, so um, the first page that you come to in the um, teacher planner is the personal info page, and this is pretty standard. There are a lot of similarities between the Bloom Daily Planner's teacher planner and the Erin Condren teacher planner. Like the first page is your uh, personal info or school info. Um, but I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like they really took a lot of time to figure out what you really need as a teacher. So, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, but the tab says important info. So, um, this planner does have the laminated tabs and they feel about like the Erin Condren tabs. They might be a little bit thinner. Um, but they are laminated, so I don't see how these would end up getting any messed up, any more messed up than the other ones. Um, so on the next page, it's kind of like a table of contents, and then you have a page for your substitute, if you ever have one. And, um, let's see if they have that in here. Yeah, so there is a page for your substitute on the Erin Condren. Um, and then the next page has your student information. Um, the next page is the call home log. So you have a place where you can write down why you're calling parents and if it was resolved. This is really good for, for your principal to see, just, just to document everything. And then you get like a graph paper with... Um, a blank place where you can write stuff in and then your important dates so I really like how this is laid out and I will show you how Erin Condren has theirs laid out um, I think maybe this is it 
Okay. So, Aaron Condren says, or Aaron Condren has holidays and dates to remember, and they put down, like, every little thing. So, that's kind of nice, but in my opinion, I probably prefer to have more room to write my own in, and I feel like they really made this simple and allowed you plenty of space to write in, like, PD days or anything that you could that you need to write in here for school. Um, and I just like the way it's laid out. I don't know. At the beginning of every monthly tab, there's a page that has like a really pretty quote on it. And then right before that, you have a plan for the month. So this is August. So at the beginning, it says plan for August. And you have a focus for the month, goals for the month, and then just some blank spaces where you can really get detailed and write stuff down that you need to write down. So after your monthly tab, you flip to the undated month. So you could use this whatever year you want. Um, so since we're so close to the end of the year, I would probably save this until next school year. But you could use the last couple months and then just do the rest next year I guess um, but they are undated and then right after that you get to your weekly planning and you get four pages I think because there's four weeks in a month okay and this is probably my most favorite thing about the teacher planner and I'll show you why okay so this is what the Erin Condren teacher planner weekly layout looks like. You have a place where you can put your subject in period and time and then the days of the week go like this. So this is a horizontal layout. I'm not a horizontal person. I like to plan with a vertical style. So this is so much more appealing to me and I like how simple it is. This is just all this nonsense. Like I don't use all this and I'm not so sure that a lot of teachers would. I think we really just need a simple thing where we can kind of use this how we need to use it. And, you know, I could do like kindergarten and first grade art lessons and just go and write them in. But, um, yeah, I really like the layout of this a lot better. And I feel like there's more space to write for some reason. I don't know. That's just me. But... Um, I really do prefer this layout a lot better. So at the end of the month, you have, here it is, <laughs> at the end of the month, um, you have a, a review page where you can sort of reflect on how your month went, and I think that's really neat. So I'll just quickly flip through here so you can see what each month looks like. And then at the end of the year, there's this tab that says weekly planning. And that's really the only thing that has thrown me off about this planner. Um, because this is part of July's monthly view. And then on the back, there's a year in review. So I don't really know how weekly planning pertains to this part of the planner. Um, but that is definitely not a deal breaker in my mind at all. I really don't care what the tab says. Um, but it's really cool that there is a place where you can sort of reflect on the entire school year and write that stuff down. I think that's really neat. Um, and then the last thing is you do get a pocket 
just like you do in the Erin Condren Teacher Planner. So you can put all sorts of stuff in here and take it with you. And that's the end of that one. So um, overall, I definitely prefer this teacher planner. Um, so I probably won't be buying another Erin Condren teacher planner. I'm sorry. I love Erin Condren, but this one is, I don't know. I feel like they really took the time to think about what teachers need. And yeah. So next time I purchase a teacher planner, it's probably going to be from Bloom Daily Planners. And then um, I'm not very much of a monthly planner, but I do really like this planner a lot. So that's the end of the video. For those of you that are interested in getting a chance to win either one of these planners for my giveaway, all you need to do is head on over to my Instagram account and follow my giveaway requirements on the giveaway post. And you should be able to find it. It'll have a picture of these planners. And if you can't, just comment below or message me on Instagram and I'll point you in the right direction. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!